In this video, we will look at the first core component in React Native, which is the view component. The view component is a fundamental core component in React Native that serves as a building block for creating user interfaces. It functions as a container that supports layouts using Flexbox, styling, touch handling, and accessibility controls. In web development terms, the view component can be compared to the div tag. When working with React Native, the view component is typically nested inside other views and can have zero or more children of any type. It provides the structure and organization for other components in the UI. Let's go back to VS Code and understand more. For this section, I've created a brand new Expo project. In your terminal, in the React Native Course folder, run the command npx create expo app at latest core components, which is the project name, followed by dash dash template blank at SDK 49. Expo version 49 was published last week, and we want to make sure we are running the latest version. In package.json, you can see Expo 49 and React Native version 0.72. In the previous section, we have seen how to start our application and run our application on the iOS simulator and Android emulator. But let me quickly summarize the steps. First, navigate into the Core Components folder, so cd Core Components. Within the Core Components project folder, run the command npm start. The command will start our development server. Now, with the terminal in focus, press the key I to open the iOS simulator with the app up and running. Once that is ready, open Android Studio and open your virtual device. Then, once again, with the terminal in focus, press A to run the app on Android emulator. I have completed both the steps. You can press R in the terminal to reload the app. On the left, I have the iOS simulator with our app up and running. And on the right, we have the Android emulator with our app up and running. Please pause the video and make sure you've done the same. If you have, let's begin. First, we want to start with a clean slate, so let's delete the existing code in app.js file. Remember, the app component is the root component that gets rendered when the app is loaded. Now that we have a fresh start, let's begin by importing the view component from the React Native library. Next, we'll define a new component called app and make it the default export. Within the JSX code, we'll return the view component. With our code set up, let's save the file and take a look at the iOS simulator and Android emulator. We'll notice that nothing is displayed on the screen. To make sure our view is rendering correctly, let's add a background color to the view component with inline styles. And this is similar to inline styles for the web. We add a style prop. This is going to be an object. We set background color to plum. Let's save the file again. But still, there's nothing visible. The reason for this is that a view component only takes up the space occupied by its children. And currently, we haven't added any children to the view. To make the view occupy the entire available space, we need to specify another style property. Flex, and we set it to one. By adding flex one as a style property, the view will flexibly expand and take up all available space on the screen. Now, if we save the file, we can see a view with a plum colored background occupying the entire screen. For now, 
don't worry too much about the specific styles we've added. We will cover styles and layouts in more detail in the upcoming sections. The main takeaway here is to remember to import the view component before using it and understand that it serves as a container for other components. Now, the view component can also nest other views within it. Let's explore that by adding a nested view. Let's create a new view component with a light blue background color and specify its height and width as 200. Check the devices and we will see a new view nested within the outer view. Let's duplicate this and change its background color to light green. Now, if we save the file, we can see another view nested within the outer view, this time with a light green background. To summarize, the view component is an essential core component in React Native, serving as a building block for creating user interfaces. It acts as a container that supports layout and styling. Remember to import the view component before using it and understand that it can contain nested views for creating complex user interfaces. If this is clear, let's take a look at the next core component in the upcoming video.